to my YouTube, Brom Ads here. Welcome back to more Star Wars Squadrons. I'm going to continue the story now. Might as well get back into it. There you are. Mission 4, Secrets and Spies. I mean, there's only like 11 missions I think there is on this game. There ain't many missions to do. I'll probably do 2 or 3 per video depending on how long it takes me to do. My bad is like how many positions is there? No, just the enemy has 14 the sorry. One of my spies has linked the attacks on our Star Destroyers with the New Republic Starhawk project. A common factor is Lyndon Javes. You knew Javes better than anyone, Captain Carroll. Oh, I've had his empire now. I'd have destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. And this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. Yeah, I'm playing as the uh, Empire I'm on this one in the next mission from Bottoms. Which not now. Greg, come in. Is it true we're getting a new pilot? Copy so. Captain Carroll's bringing someone in, John. The treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. <laughs> Titan, so I've got two section. missions to do with on this video arrived. with with the Empire. And then I've got the next ones are two missions with the, with the rebels. And it's four more with the Empire. And then one more with the Rebels and then one more with the Empire and then back to the Rebels. Okay. So I can complete these two missions now the Empire for this video. I'm laughing. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. I know that guy's voice. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector, protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers before Endor, before Lyndon Jabes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Lyndon. Your Empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan Three. Let's get to work. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team, who will arrive aboard the shuttle Gladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, 
You will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. If only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. Well, so this is after the Emperor. The Senate would help okay. subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps. Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorn. Like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our Emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She Actually, doesn't Darth lecture me it. about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. Oh, well, she's delightful. You'll be the new pilot. Sergeant Wade, chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Don't see the appeal in flying myself, but I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The Overseer saw some action at Pothor and Jail, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission, Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say, I don't know how you and Titan cope out there. No shields or life support, just whole plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge, shields or not. I prepared your starfighter to match the latest Imperial guidelines. But if you've got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Your TIE fighter's ready. Good flying. Fall. Get up. 
fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <coughs> Don't annoy Von Rack. Good talk. Another time. Miss Cruz are delightful, aren't they? Jeez. The TIE Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Persistent. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. Your loadout, however, is not standard. And again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. Well, I think I'll keep as it is. No shield. <laughs> Literally no shields. Okay. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Titan, approach and eliminate the outpost's outer defenses.
Oh my ass, my heart's shaking. Chasing me. Constantly behind me. I want that gone. Thank you. Titan, this is Agent Thor. Your reputation precedes you. It's good to know my life is in capable hands. We won't let you down, Agent Thorne. Enemy fighters are finished. Titan Squadron, regroup with the Gladius. We're clear of the station. Cover our escape and escort us to the jump point. Affirmative, Agent Thorne. We've recovered the Corvettes inbound. Move, Titan!
Bravo's inbound. Fifteen minutes, be. Not thirty minutes or less. When Captain Carroll said she was bringing in one more pilot, I didn't know what to expect. I've been flying a long time. This wouldn't be the first squadron I've seen compromised by nepotism. But, you did well today, pilot. Most spy extractions end with significantly more casualties. If the team had any reservations about you joining Titan Squadron, you certainly put them to rest. Okay. Now let's go. Captain Carroll is waiting. Give me a second, guys. I'm quickly going to get a drink. Oh, I'm back. Agent Thor may not have known the precise location of Project Starhawk, but the intel has pointed us in the right direction. Then we will proceed as planned. Oh, hello. Captain, is this the new pilot? Yes. A valuable addition to the squadron. Wouldn't you say? Indeed. Marvelous work securing Agent Thorne. You've exceeded your previous statistics by... Oh, forgive me. I'm so familiar with your profile that I forgot we haven't actually met. I'm LT-514, Imperial Intelligence. I'm eager to analyze your performance in the upcoming mission. Captain Carroll, shall we proceed with the briefing? Agent Thorne's intel has paid off. We've learned that a convoy of New Republic engineers is traveling from Hosnian Prime to Project Starhawk's secret base. Their chartered path leads them straight through the contested territory of De Severo. According to our new information, the convoy will attempt to conceal its presence in a local debris field. Follow the convoy through the wreckage and allow them to jump to hyperspace. We will calculate all possible destinations along their trajectory to find Project Starhawk. You must not be detected. We cannot risk losing this convoy. Local Imperial forces have been advised not to interfere. Once the convoy is clear of the debris, it will leave the system, pointing us toward their hidden headquarters. Once we have their jump vector, return to the Overseer and prepare for immediate redeployment.
I've already contacted the Imperial authorities at De Severo. They're aware of the situation. You're certain he won't interfere? My records indicate that Captain Amos is trigger happy, to say the least. His fleet is already in ruins after initiating several battles that were frankly quite unnecessary. Captain Amos is enthusiastic. I'm hoping he's not a fool. The Empire can't afford to lose assets at this stage in the war. I agree wholeheartedly, Captain. After your impressive work at Hosnian Prime, this should be an effortless mission for you, pilot. Yes. My faith in you was not misplaced. Make sure it stays that way. That will be all. Give me a second, guys. Let's do some more fun. Some time. Tie Reaper is a specialist mode made for utility and squadron support. If the enemy sees one, they know they're in trouble. With this loadout, it's built to disable enemy fighters with ion lasers. I've also equipped jamming tech to keep you off enemy radars and tactical shields to protect allied ties. Shit was done then. Fire the missiles! 
We can't lose this convoy. Titan, shoot down the Tormentor's missiles. Captain Amos, you are compromising a delicate mission. Oh, delicate? This is war. Snuffing out this new Republic is the only mission. Destroy the missiles. That colossal idiot. Convoys alerted to our presence. No way we'll track their jump now. Captain Amos, this is foolish. The Tormentor is severely damaged. It's still capable of destroying a few rebel ships. Just look at the wreckage around you. I see TIE fighters out there. Shattered, broken. Yours, I assume. Oh, Every fan of the price. Nice surprise. Stay focused. Stop that scatter convoy. Good shot.
are tied to the shuttles now. Shuttles reached. Let's move. More rebel fighters inbound. Tactical shields to protect our shuttles. Shields up. I got some tight bombs, but flyers are cool as this. I turn this thing up here.
Titan, return to the Tormentor and cover its retreat. Yes, ma'am. Call off your squadron. I don't need the help. Then you're prepared to retreat? Never. You will not survive this assault, Captain Amos. Watch me. Captain Kira, that frigate is coming apart. The Tormentor is too close. Amos, evasive maneuvers, now. What are you talking about? The frigate is about to explode. But, but I won. He's dead. What a waste. At least we have what we came for. I almost got his brain. We recovered the sector coordinates for the Starhawk dockyards, but the rest of the data banks are empty. Engineers must have wiped the rest when Captain Amos blew our cover. <laughs> deserves to go down with his ship. Knowing the sector at least narrows our search. Linden can't hide forever. Titan, eliminate the convoy. Let Linden know we're coming for him. Yeah, I'm back doing these now. You know, I think I'll probably do one more mission. Because how many missions have I had? I can't remember how many I said there was now. Uh, here we are. So I've just done... Mission 5. So... Uh, thank you. Yeah, I think I'll do one more. Might as well. Hey! I'm not a friend. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. Linden, the contact verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. 
You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Osni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Linda. What have you done? Relax, Arthur. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Sweet. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zerelda should have your ship almost ready. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost... Imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but... you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the Commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. Let's go, man. When James talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Y-Wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Nice. Get on then. I think. listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Temper 
Defense, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing, the Empire had no choice but to intercept. <sighs> what could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. Whoa. listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? Just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go, Five. Give them everything you got. Okie dokie. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away.
up with one more. That's just rude. There's so much. You let them destroy our broadcast dishes. So much for the distress call. Nice shooting vibe. Those Imperials are on their own. I've got a problem with Sirius now. Imps won't be calling any reinforcements today. That's right. Taking damage here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. Get my bearing again.
system destroyed. Temperatures are rising. Alright, that's not one. I need to ah, find that. Van Corvette, oh shh. No, they destroyed the Corvette. Complete the mission for them. Alright, Five, get in there and fly carefully. We all believe in you, Five. They're locked on. Wow. Well, I need to, uh. Oh shh! Is that revenge now, Anderson? This one's kind of slow as shit, isn't it? Try to fight him. The station and attack the power cores. You got a tail. Take him then. Anyway, they got the Corvette thing, but Great work, 
Bravo Squadron. Our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. I'm going to do the next step tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I think that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you do, leave a like below, and please hit the notification bell. Take care, see you in the next one, peace out guys.